Hey there, guys. It's Dr. Ray with the Learning Liaisons. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another one of our FTCE vlog videos. Uh, in this video today, uh, I have one of my teachers send in a practice question she said she had some concerns on. So I just wanted, I thought it'd be a great opportunity just to throw it up on the screen and do a quick question analyzation. Because remember, that's the emphasis of all of our workshops here on how to increase your percentages on getting questions right. Uh, by getting in the mindset of the test writer. So we're going to take a look in at number 14 here. So for you guys out there who attended the workshops, uh, remember our mental checklist, right? We're going to go through our mental checklist here. That's something that we spent a lot of time focusing on in all of my FTCE online workshops. So when I use my mental checklist here, I'm taking a look at the answers first. Remember, we don't look up at the question. So I'm looking at the answers first. So let me grab my little pencil here so I can make some notes. All right. So I'm looking at the answers first, and I'm noticing uh, two themes here or two similar answers here. Okay. One, I'm noticing that A and B both start with Samuel and Paul. B2, Samuel and Paul. Okay. Look, I'm noticing some themes here. And then at the end, okay, I'm noticing Natalie and Greta. Natalie and Greta. So if you remember what I talk about in my workshops at length, uh, one of the mental checklists is to look for those similar answers. Those are the answers that are starting off with the same couple of words or ending with the same couple of words. And just to reiterate that point, remember we've got A and B, both starting Samuel and Paul. Remember identically the same way. And also at the ending, we've got Natalie and Greta, Natalie and Greta. So remember what I said, about similar answers. All right, so now we're getting kind of an idea now. Remember, it's all about getting in the mind of the question writer, something that we talk about at length. So now that I've got some kind of idea, obviously we can't look for outliers or anything along the other lines of the other mental checklist items. So we're going to go up to the question and we're going to look for the key word and phrase. So Natalie, Paul, Samuel, Greta were comparing the distances from their houses to school. The distances were Natalie, at two and two fifth miles, Paul two and one third miles, Samuel two and three eighth miles, and Greta two and three fifth miles. What is the order of the names based on these distances? Here's our keyword and phrase least to greatest. Very straightforward. Now, obviously, if you're really good at fractions, this might be easy for you and consider one of your little hanging fruit questions. But if you figure out, man, I got to do some math here to figure this one out. So looking at those numbers, obviously they all have a two in the front of them, okay? Now, I am looking at the first number there. Look, look at Natalie real quick. It says two and two fifths, and then we have Greta with the same thing, because obviously in math our eyes are drawn to similar fractions because it seems easier for us, okay? So just follow me on this. Two fifths and three fifths. Well, that's a straightforward question. Which one's bigger, right? Well, well duh. Three fifths is bigger than two fifths, regardless of your math level. Um, the assumption is that you understand that three fifths is greater than two fifths because three is bigger than two. So, with that being said, forget any math steps, anything that you're doing from this point forward. Just that mere fact tells you, regardless of what answer choice, okay, Greta has to come after Natalie no matter what. Even if you, I know what some of you guys are thinking, well, what about one third and three eighths? Well, we'll get to that. But just pick the common numbers, and doesn't matter what order, all four are in. Natalie has to come before Greta because Greta is bigger. So, regardless of the order, Greta is coming after Natalie. So, let's look at the answers. Greta has to come after Natalie. So, forget A. We see we didn't even do any math yet. Okay, and forget C. So now we're down to two possible answers because Greta has to come after Natalie, no matter what. Remember what we said before at the beginning. Look at those similar answers. There they are. Natalie and Greta. Natalie and Greta. Okay, so that's just telling us that, that one of those is going to be the answers. Now, obviously, Greta and Natalie are at the end. So now we have to discern which one is smaller to go at the beginning, Paul or Samuel. So easy way to do that is you just divide up. So you take one and you divide it by three to get a fraction. Easy way to do it. That gives us 0.33. That is Paul, right? Sorry, my chicken scratch on there. 
And then we got to do Sam well. So, well, that's three divided by eight, which is point three. Oops, sorry, chicken scratch there. Three, seven, five. Well, which one is smaller? Point three, three. So, Paul has to come first. So, the answer by default there is Paul, Samuel, Natalie, and Greta. So, hopefully, that makes sense to you. I know it obviously I've been talking for a couple of minutes, so it seems like, man, why is this taking so long? I'm just walking through the mental mindset there and how to analyze the question. So, if that was a harder question for you, then now it's very easy. If that was a low hanging fruit, easy question for you, thanks for tuning in. And I appreciate your time. Remember, I go over in detail specific courses just for math and then overall for GK, elementary ed, professional ed. I have math 6 through 12, pre-K through 3, and many other video courses online and live interactive online workshops. So if you need any help or have questions, you could always email me at the email address below or text me anytime at 407 797 1499. You guys have a great day and thank you very much. And let's go out there and pass that test on the first attempt.